Hey everyone, it's Ben, and today we're gonna to take a look at a very interesting communication product from Gotenna. Stick with me, you're watching Living Survival. So the Gotenna is a pretty interesting device. It's a pretty unique device. I really haven't seen anything else like it. It's similar uh, to two-way radios, the portable two-way radios that we've looked at on the channel. It allows you to communicate using this as the antenna with a built-in uh, transmitter and receiver and pair it up to your cell phone, either your Apple or your Android device, using Bluetooth and allows you to communicate via text message between those two devices. Now the unit itself is pretty rugged. It's got this metal uh, housing around the bottom portion and then more of a rubbery uh, housing on the top portion. You just pull the antenna out to activate it. You've got a little uh, status indicator light there and then on the back it's got a nylon strap so you could just strap this onto your pack for example it's also got a cover on the back which houses the uh, micro usb import these are usb rechargeable so that's nice and it's just a nice sturdy rugged small package it's not fully waterproof but it, they say it will hold up in rain and if you were to dunk it it would probably survive it's also dust proof and pretty rugged so i, I believe it's also drop proof so the system i have is the two pack it comes with a blue and a green it says it works outdoors crowded events travel emergency and any off-grid activity so it's a great system Obviously in survival or an emergency situation, you know, you can go car to car with these things You can communicate between two phones without service and in a catastrophe tornado earthquake something like that a lot of times the phone the cell towers go down and these would still Continue to work. So that's pretty cool. You can also use the GPS on your phone uh, With these without service no service no problem you can create networks one-to-one uh, <clears throat> -one, and you can also do group messaging. Basically, your phone's gonna work just like it would work uh, texting one person or a group of people without service. Offline GPS, you can share and save locations on, on uh, offline maps and you can broadcast out uh, to other people, uh, but they do have to have the Gotenna. So, you know, in order for the broadcast feature to work, a lot of people would have to have these, but you never know. Um, you know, in a uh, in an emergency situation at a large event or something, someone else might have one. Uh, basically, you know, it's going to work just like two-way radios, but in a much smaller package, and uh, it it takes advantage of the cell phone that you already have. So some features here, send and receive text messages for free, share locations. Uh, it automatically retries your message, private one-on-one -on -one, uh, and group messaging. Emergency beacons, uh, it's compatible with Android and uh, Apple and we're, uh, we're gonna show uh, both of those systems. Two watt VHF radio, so again, very similar to you know just your handheld uh, two-way radios, FRS radios that we've looked at in the past rechargeable lithium uh, batteries 20 hours of continuous use uses bluetooth le and water resistant and dust tight so if we take a look at the units themselves they are very nice it tells you right up here it's very easy to get started you download the app either on the app store or the google uh, play store you extend the antenna launch the app and sync it with your phones all right so i'm going to go ahead and pair the unit with my phone, this is an iPhone, so I've already downloaded the app here. I'm gonna make sure that my Bluetooth is turned on, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the uh, the Gotenna on, and then we'll launch the app. It says, welcome to Gotenna, let's get you set up. So we'll click begin setup, accept the terms of use, <clears throat> asking for location, don't want it, uh, import my contacts we want to turn on notifications turn on your Bluetooth and then it says it's pairing so just like that you're all paired up go ahead and test it and it's saying when you click the test button the, the uh, light should blink and it does so we'll go next going to put in a name here we'll just say Ben once you enter your phone number they will text you a verification code so 92313 
We'll go back and enter that in, 92313. It's telling you that you want to attach it on the back of a backpack or something. Basically, to give you the best range, you want it to be higher up on un unobstructed terrain. And then it's telling you finally that you can extend your battery life by turning on air airplane mode. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn on airplane mode so that there's no radios on other than the GPS and the, uh, uh, obviously the Bluetooth so that we can uh, test out the functionality of texting back and forth. You haven't downloaded any maps now. Do you want to download them? Let's say yes. Pretty fast download. It's already at 15%, 20 all right, so that didn't take long. We've got our maps installed. So now I'm gonna do it on Android. Um, open the app, hit the begin setup button. Read the terms, accept. It kind of walks you through it, which is kind of nice. It just kind of tells you a little bit about it. We're all paired up. Okay, now I'm gonna create a, a username, my phone number. So in the menu, it tells you the status of your GoTenna, your battery life, you can chat. You can do things with the location, uh, see your contacts, things like that. So she said hi, and it already came in on my phone. I can say hi back. And it works really quickly. So another cool thing you can do is you can, in the chat, you can click uh, request location. And it's going to attach a location request where... Are you hiding? It tells you down there I requested the location. On her phone it says tap to share location. Then it tells me it sent her location to me and it's basically going to show it on the map. So I'm in the car and I just have the Gotenna in the center of the windshield. I'm going to go ahead and test out the range in an urban environment. So I am right outside. Let's see if it works before I get moving. Now it gives me a check mark. So that lets me know that it was sent. And there is the reply. So, so far, so good. So now I'm at a hotel about a half a mile away. So let's go ahead and send another test. Now you can see that airplane mode is still on. No radios working except for the Bluetooth. Got the check mark. and got a response honestly i didn't even think it would work that far but so far so good all right so coffee shop about a mile away test three and test three so in our testing we were only able to get about a mile in an urban environment that's going to be extended a little bit obviously in a wooded environment it's very similar to what we were able to get on the uh you know the two-way radios that you can buy anywhere from maybe 50 to 100 dollars for a pair now the gotenna isn't cheap it's 199 dollars for the pair again what you're paying for is the fact that you can have a small form factor something that you can just stash right in a survival kit or something like that have the ability to communicate with anyone else that has a gotenna sending text messages and sending maps with locations back and forth so what are my thoughts on the gotenna expensive hopefully the price will come down it's 199 for a pair you can buy a family pack 
of four. Decent two-way radios will cost you anywhere from about $50 to $100 for a pair. You know, right around in that $70, usually the sweet spot for a decent pair with the features that you're gonna look for in a two-way radio. Again, you're limited with a two-way radio to just sending voice back and forth. With the Gotenny, you can send locations back and forth, which is, which is nice, but with the Gotenny, you're limited to just text messaging. Both types of communication are gonna be great for carpooling in an emergency, hiking, camping, you know, fishing, hunting, where you wanna communicate back and forth, and certainly in an emergency situation, if cellular service goes down, having two-way radios or something like the Gotenna that you can, can and communicate with others uh, within that mile or so range does come in handy and could help you in an emergency situation. And I hope they work it out to where they can extend the range a little bit. Maybe they have the antenna where it pops out and then it folds out again, uh, giving yourself a little bit bigger antenna that would probably work for some extended range. But I do like the form factor of it. It's very small, very light, very rugged, something that you could certainly just stash uh, in a survival kit, you know, throw a pair of these in or each, each person in your part of your family have one of these. So that definitely is a uh, a plus for the Gotenna that it's small, it's USB rechargeable, but again, I think that price is just a little bit high compared to what you can get in two-way radios for you know the $50 to $100 price point. So I'm gonna put a link below to their website. They do have an awesome frequently asked questions section where pretty much any question that any of you might have is probably answered there. I know that I went through each question and most of my questions were answered. I tried to put a lot of that information in this video. Also, the link below will provide you access to be able to buy a pair of these uh, for yourself if it's something you're interested in. it's definitely a cool gadget hope you guys enjoyed the video today please give it a big thumbs up for me leave me some comments below please share this to your friends and family on social media you can check out my social media as well and as always guys if you haven't already done so please click that red subscribe button subscribe to my channel for more videos